We want to show you the most entertaining version of a low-fat snack. As you know, the Super Bowl is set for Sunday in Detroit, and not only is it the biggest television event of the year, it's also the biggest snacking day of the year. Pretzel crisps have turned into one of the fastest-growing snacks in the country. So we took the middle out of a pretzel and created a hybrid cracker. Being thin and extra crunchy, it just satisfies that snacking urge. I love pretzels, and I love these because they're nice and thin. They're crispy. And you got the hummus. And they're just a great way to sort of nibble throughout the day. Improving the way your family eats one meal at a time. You can top them, they're kind of cool, they're flat. You can top them with cheese. Okay. Fabulous. Look how thin. They're so, they're, they're like they're, potato chips. They're, crisp and they're delicious and crunchy. You can talk at their little cute little thin pretzels. There you go. Okay. I've seen these at the grocery they're store. They're very cool. They're, they're flat. flat. Can I try one of these? Yeah, these absolutely. Taste, I was just going to say, stuff. it looks like these are all natural. Oh, and they taste good. Mm, these are good. This speaks to me right yeah. here. Oh! Up to 2 million Americans have food allergies of some sort, which can mean snacks like pretzels. Well, they're off limits, but somebody's eating them because the pretzel shelves at the store are packed with twists, knots, rods, and uh, sticks. But now, we want to show you the most entertaining version of a low-fat snack. Watch. A good dinner party requires a bit of preparation, the right wines, and tempting cuisine. But until now... Pretzels have never been invited to the high-class table. Consumers always are asking for what's next, what's new, what's innovative. So we took the middle out of a pretzel and created a hybrid cracker. Warren and Sarah Wilson of Snack Factory have created gourmet chips that have all the flavor of a pretzel with the crunch and shape of a cracker. Being thin and extra crunchy, it just satisfies that snacking urge. Plus, these chips can multitask in ways that ordinary pretzels can't. Because they're flat, you can spread cheese on it or a cheese wedge. But making these crunchy crackers isn't as easy as just flattening a pretzel. They start normally enough with flour. Lots of flour. We have three separate pretzel flour silos. Each one holds about 120,000 pounds of flour. We get daily flour shipments in, usually in loads of about 48,000 pounds apiece. The flour is combined with water, salt, and malt to form a pretzel dough. And this is where things get quite hush-hush. I can't go into it in too much depth because it is secret and patented. However, the reason for doing that creates the flat pretzel. This top secret process is what enables the crisps to slim down but maintain their pretzel properties. We can still have the flavor profile of a pretzel and then make it look even more attractive. After the top secret process, the twisted pretzel crisp dough is ready to hit the 300 foot long oven. There are three zones in the oven, one for the baking, another for adding seasoning, and a third zone where a kiln squeezes out any remaining moisture and gives them their characteristic crunch. And with new items in the pipeline like chocolate covered pretzel crisps, the snack factory isn't done churning out new treats. Sarah and I are basic inventors. Unfortunately, we married to each other. It makes it more fun. But we always have unique products in the hopper. For the family that invents together, home is the best place for tasting trials. It's fun because before people knew that was what we were testing, we did our own test market, our focus groups, or our friends. Cheers. Cheers.